Hey Mark. How you doing? I'm doing great, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Brandon Scott. Oh, I was looking for you. Oh, hey Mark. How you doing? Good, baby. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, my. I'm not. I'm a guy. I'm a Okay, so we're going to get started, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Fantastic day today. On behalf of Director Ernest Burkane and Baltimore City Recreation and Parks, we welcome you. I am Devon Brown the center director here at Councilwomen Rita Art Church Community Center. Yeah. 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 I, along with my staff, Arlene Foreman and Daryl Moody, are excited to begin working with this community. Beginning today, we'll be open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for drop-in activities for school-aged children and teens. Beginning in the fall, we will offer after-school programming Community, com computer and internet access, a fitness center, and a variety of classes for all ages, including cooking, GED classes, and also writing classes. Additionally, one of our goals is to begin my personal favorite, a music appreciation program that will allow youth to learn and play various musical instruments. I'm a fellow saxophonist. Our goal is to make this center a safe haven for kids and a cultural, educational, and social hub for the community. And I just want to say thank you. You're welcome. I want you to please welcome Ms. Sonia Johnson, who will perform Ordinary People. Immediately following Ms. Johnson, we will hear from the members of Rita Church family, Ms. Rita M. Church, McKevitt Walker, and Ann Walker. Ms. Sonia. Just ordinary people. God uses ordinary people. He chooses people just like me and you who are willing to do as he commands. God uses people who will give their all. No matter how small your all might be to you, little becomes much as you place it in the master's hands. Just ordinary People, God chooses plain old ordinary people. He uses people just like me and you who are willing to do as he commands. God chooses is people who will give their all no matter how small your all might be to you little becomes
becomes much as you place it in the master's hands. Just like that little lad who gave Jesus all he had, how the multitudes were fed with the fish and the loaves of bread. So what you have may not seem much, but when you yielded to the touch of the master's loving hands, then you'll understand how your life can never be the same. Just ordinary people God uses pain on ordinary people yes he chooses people just like me and you who are willing to do everything he commands God chooses people who will give their all. No matter how small your all may be to you, little becomes much as you place it in the master's hands. Rita said, here I am, use me, Jesus, hey, hey. Little becomes much as you place it in the master's hands. Here I am, use me, Jesus, hey, hey. Little becomes much as you place it in the master's hand. God bless you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is such an honor. Yes, it is. Good morning, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake and distinguished members of council. My family and I are deeply humbled for the honoring of the Rita R. Church Community Center. If Rita were here today, she would say, be humbled, be pure, and be patient. The meaning of the name Rita, it means pearl. And the name pearl means a gem of the sea. The, original, the origin of the name Rita is Spanish, is of the Latin origin. And also, St. Rita is the patron of impossible causes, impossible causes of victims of abuse, sickness, loneliness, parenthood, and widow. Rita was a very empathetic individual who said once, I have the ability to see myself in the situation of others. I have come to understand that it is not how close I get to power, but it is how close you have come to the truth of who you are. Councilwoman Rita R. Church Community Recreation Center will serve the Northeast Corridor of Baltimore City and surrounding areas. The community center generally performs many functions within the community. For example, by providing multiple services that actually meet the needs of the citizens within the community. Urban problems and community development is no stranger to inner city neighborhoods. I believe that we are our community and we must invest in the action plan that will result in effective change that can restore not only neighborhoods, but communities. I also believe that the common base of power is when the community can see the results of networking and building relationships in and outside of the community. It is also the citizens of the community whose perceptions bring power by understanding that you are your community. The community center goods and services are important to local economy because this will not only generate funds, 
to help the community center sustain itself and the existence. This will also take the efforts of the community's participation to invest in the power of change and to mobilize for change. Social action and community development means to sustain the function of Rita R. Church Community Center, which will include the help of the mayor of Stephanie Rawlins Blake and the distinguished members of the Baltimore City Council. This will call for a strategy plan for the community center and a committee to serve. The goal is to provide ready access resources to restore a sense of hope in an effort to improve or change the community. The need for community centers is greater than any of us can ever imagine. However, as a citizen of the community and a community agent, we must respect what has been provided to us here and not vandalize and victimize the community center that is here to serve you. Rita R. Church Community Center can and will offer citizens and their families the tools to empower oneself by allowing families to utilize resources that are available, by identifying indicators of what you need to bring to your community and the resources, such as if they don't have it here, there is a such thing as referrals to other programs that can help you. As a community member, I know that my mother is proud today. She is proud, she is looking down upon us, and she's saying, she is saying God bless us all. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, family, friends, and distinguished guests of our community and our city. Um, I just wanted to have a, a crucial conversation about my Nana. That's what I called her. And we all affectionately called her that in my family. But she touched me in a, a very unique way. Um, before I had my first son, I was 19 years old. I was a freshman at Coppin State College at the time. And she said, Whatever you do from here on out will not only change your life in a good or bad way, but will also affect the destiny of your family. And I didn't understand that at the time, but what she meant was any actions that we do as humans, not as white, black, or whatever you may be um, ethnically, but as humans, that will always change your life, whether it's a an enormous change or a small change. And Rita Church, she did that. She changed people's lives with small things. She didn't do great major things. She did it with small things. And I saw that in my family every day. Just being around her, living with her, um, communing with her, talking with her. She, she changed her life with any piece of advice that she gave you. I think many people can testify to that and they understand what it was that she did and how she did it. So this center, is a memorial to that, but the, more, the most important thing, and I think that she would say that, was that it belongs to everyone. Not one group or one neighborhood, but everyone. And through everything that's going on now in our city and all over the world, we still are humans, and we have to respect life. Life is most important because it creates everything that we are and everything that's around us. So let's do that, let's humble ourselves and welcome this place as a, as a respectful, community senator center and we, we enjoy the livelihood that Rita Church has brought. I just want to welcome everybody and say thank you. Good morning, distinguished guests, family and people of the community. This is a day of celebration for my siblings and myself. Today, we are witnessing the continuation of a legacy with the opening of the Councilwoman Rita R. Church Community Center in honor of our mother. I ask you to just please share, let me take a minute and share with you who I believe my mother, our mother was. 
When I think of our mother, I think of her compassion for people, her willingness to reach out and assist anyone who was in need of help without hesitation. She was a rebel with a cause, benevolent in advocating fairness and justice to response in the needs of people as she assisted them in their efforts to weather the difficulties and challenges of their daily lives. She was tenacious in finding a workable solution and sometimes a miraculous one to their situation. Most of you here today can share a story of our beloved mother. And your presence today is a tribute and honor to her true being as a humanitarian. We, her children, her family, we'd like to thank all of you for being present here today. And we'd like to thank the mayor and all and whoever worked to bring this to a reality. Thank all of you and God bless. Next, we will hear from the Honorable Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. This center is a manifestation of Madam Mayor's commitment to equal quality recreation in the city, and we want to thank her for her dedication. <laughs> Following Mayor Rollins Blake, we will hear from Councilman President Bernard Young and Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark. Good morning. Good morning. It is my pleasure to be here with all of you, particularly uh, your senator, Senator Nathaniel McFadden, our city council president, Jack Young, uh, Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark, Councilman Brandon Scott. I want to thank all of them for being here and being in partnership with me as we continue to move uh, Baltimore forward. Uh, recreation centers are so vital. Uh, to our city. Everybody has their story, their, their memory of uh, the recreation center uh, that, that they grew up in. And that's why I was so excited to come here today because you can see the future and you can see with the young people who are here that they'll be making their own stories in a beautiful new recreation center, community center, that will be an anchor for this community and will be a place, a safe, beautiful new uh, place with, with quality programming, as, as Mr. Brown already um, mentioned, a place where they can create their memories of a lifetime. Recreation and parks, you know, they help protect our green spaces, our open spaces. We're going to be exercising in here and fighting obesity every day and providing activities and resources for each and every citizen in Baltimore. And that's what makes me remember the late Councilwoman Rita Church because she fought for all of these things and all of Baltimore's children. And that really is the spirit, and, and that spirit is what we uh, use as an anchor for our strategy for rebuilding recreation centers across the city. Because the councilwoman was known as uh, the unofficial mayor of uh, Cold, Spring, Cold Stream Homestead, Montebello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And everyone knew that she was dedicated to her family, dedicated to her community, but what we all got to see uh, when uh, Rita Church became councilwoman, Rita Church, is that she was dedicated to all of Baltimore's children. And that's what this community center is about. S building community centers that everyone, not just can use, but wants to use. I get so frustrated when we talk about um, the fact that we have to, to get rid of some of our old, dilapidated, and underused recreation centers in order to build centers, community centers like that. I get frustrated because I would love for somebody to explain to me how we could spend the same dollar twice. I can't keep old, rundown, unsafe buildings open and build this at the same time. So please tell me how I can spend the same dollar twice. 
And if you know I can't, then open yourself up to the possibility that this is what our children deserve. Not old rundown recreation centers that no one wants to come to, but beautiful community centers with programming and opportunities that everyone wants to enjoy. That's what the 10-year financial plan is about. This is a down payment on the future for our kids. Through our capital plan for recreation and parks, we plan to build 10 recreate community centers just like this throughout our city. And you know our young people and our communities need them. So I appreciate your support of this center. I appreciate the, the family letting us honor her memory and the community by naming this uh, center after uh, the late Councilwoman Rita Church, uh, because that says something about what's going to go on right here. It says that this is about community, this is about building, and this is about making sure that this community has an anchor for years to come. So I want to thank, um, I do have it, this, in, and it's not lost on me that we are doing this in um, Recreation and Parks Month. Uh, July is National Recreation and Parks Month, so I would like to uh, offer this um, proclamation, which you'll get the, the big version uh, later, but designating July 2013 as Recreation and Parks Month in Baltimore, whereas parks and recreation programs are integral parts of the community throughout this country, including the city of Baltimore. Whereas our parks and recreation programs are vitally important to establishing and maintaining the quality of life in our communities, ensuring the health of all citizens, and contributing to the economic and environmental uh, well-being of our community and region. And whereas parks and recreation programs build healthy, active communities that aid in the prevention of chronic disease, provide therapeutic recreation services for those who are mentally or physically disabled, and also improve the mental and emotional health of all citizens. And whereas as a trust for public land has ranked Baltimore's parksism, park system as one of the best in the country. And this month will be an ideal time to take advantage of the 6,000 plus acres of parkland our city is fortunate enough to have and where many summer recreational activities uh, and take advantage of the many summer recreational activities that we have to offer, whereas the city of Baltimore recognizes and appreciates the many benefits derived from our parks and recreation services. Therefore, I, Stephanie Rawlings Blake, Mayor of the City of Baltimore, do hereby proclaim July 2013 as Recreation and Parks Month in Baltimore and do urge all citizens to celebrate at a park. And get yourself one of those I Love My Parks t-shirts. I can't wait to get one of those. So uh, in closing, I just want to, to echo um, what Rita said earlier about how proud we know Councilwoman uh, church would be today. Uh, and I want to take a second to recognize a few people. Uh, I already thank the, the family, I'll do it again, the family of uh, Councilwoman Church, Rita M. Church. I want to thank Mr. Walker and Walker for their, for their uh, wonderful words this morning. All of the children and the grandchildren. I want to thank our community leaders, Mark Washington and the Cold Stream Homestead Montebello, Montebello Community Corporation. Can we give him a big hand? I want to thank the Darley Park Community Association. Anybody here from Darley Park? I want to thank Devon Brown, the center director. And I, I want I, I thank Darley uh, Park, and I particularly wanted to thank Miss Francis. Thank you very much. All right. So with that, and as I promised in closing, I want to thank you all for coming. Thank you all believing that uh, there is better to come for Baltimore's recreation uh, and community centers. Uh, thank you for supporting this center. And I can't wait to get to some hula hoop and coming back and seeing the smiling faces of everyone who's going to be enjoying the Rita, Rita Church Community Center. Thank you very much. Good morning. First of all, I'd like to um, thank Rita Church's family for allowing us to name this center after the former Councilwoman Rita Church. Um, like the mayor, we both serve with um, Councilwoman Church, who was a very dedicated um, and inspirational leader in the city of Baltimore. Um, I want to also recognize Senator McFadden, uh, Councilman uh, Brandon Scott, and the Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark, who made sure that we stayed on task with this center. 
Um, I've seen out in the audience um, Bill Tyler, um, and I want to welcome Bill Tyler back to Baltimore. Um, you know, this is what it's all about. This is the best crime-fighting tool that's available to us as a city, more recreational opportunities for our youth. If we give them more recreational opportunities and places to go, they will not be out committing the nuisance crimes that people are talking about as we sit here today. I want to thank the mayor for her commitment to making sure that this project moves forward. I want to thank the family who continue to ask questions. When is it going to open? What's going on? Uh, little Rita, she just was just, I ain't going to say getting on my nerve. But it was, you know, I mean, this is a wonderful one. I, I went in and took um, a quick look at this rec center, and I'm telling you, it's amazing how it looks in there. I mean, you're talking about a regional rec center that has all the amenities that a community need, swimming, basketball courts, football. I mean, you have it all here. And I'm just going to echo what Rita said earlier. This is your gym and your community. Make sure that you protect your house. That's what the Raven said, protect your house. And make sure that you don't trash it and that you don't let nobody else trash this rec center. And maybe one day I will come up and um, have a little baking class in here where I can teach some of the young kids how to, do, how to bake cookies, how to make cakes, how to make rice puddings, and how to just, you know, use some skills. You know, I can bake a little bit. You know, so um, I, I, I pledge to come up here to um, do some cooking demonstrations uh, for our children. And again, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this wonderful, wonderful dedication of the Councilwoman Rita Church Recreation Center. Again, thank you. Uh, Jack Young is president of the city council, but he's king of rice pudding. <laughs> If you haven't had it, you haven't lived, so get them up here. <laughs> Dear Madam Mayor, Senator McFadden, my former colleague, Councilman and Senator Nathan Irby, where, he disappeared, that's what he always does when I call his name. Um, my colleague, Brandon Scott, who is one of the youngest people ever elected to the city council and he keeps us making sure we're taking good care of the young people. Yes. Family, colleagues, neighbors, and friends of the beloved Rita R. Church. In this still moment of national shock and stunned disbelief on the double loss for Trayvon Martin and all our children and their families, a candle of hope is lit here in this corner of our city for which we gather to say thanks, Madam Mayor. Thanks, President Young, Councilman Stokes, who could not be here but was very instrumental. Thanks, Councilman Scott, for always being with us when the young people are at issue. Thanks to the rec and park. Thanks, President Young, who's always lobbying so hard for the children. Thanks, Bob Wall, our acting director of recreation, who showed up at Darley Park and gave us hope when we had almost lost it. Thanks, Bill Tyler. I didn't see you, but thank you for getting us to this point as well. Bill Vondrasak, Gennady Schwartz, who I drove crazy, Rita, while you were driving the president crazy. <laughs> but he, re he absolutely insisted on remaining sane for the next project. David Knowlton, Tracy Estef, Robert Dallas, Mr. Brown, of whom we have such great expectations, thanks. And Thanks to Miss Williams and Miss Fort. They both retired, I think, around this project because we drove them so crazy. But thank you for bringing us so far along to this wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks, Darley Park. All right. Thanks for getting those young people lined up to go out and, and, and 
tour all the best rec centers and bring back the ideas and designs for this one, which is better than any other. Thanks, Clifton Park, South Clifton Park. Thanks, Coldstream Homestead Montebello, Rita Church's home across the street. Thanks, Belair Edison, and thanks, Build, who works so faithfully with South Clifton Park and with Darley Park to help bring us to this moment. Thanks for keeping the faith, everyone. Thanks for this spark of light and hope for which we have planned and prayed. The first new recreation center of our mayor's vision, our council president's lobbying, and that home away from home for our children and families. The councilwoman Rita R. Church Community Center, just across the street and down the street from her own home in our midst, still today. Amen. How aptly named for Rita Church, because for all her achievements as a member of the city council, as a member of the planning commission, as a pioneer in the Chum community for revitalization, how she loved, loved this neighborhood and talked about the flowers that were here when she came and the flowers that would be here again. This is one of the biggest flowers of all today. Rita Church was foremost the mother and sister of us all, embracing us in the high expectations to which her community center here stands firm as a promised at last fulfilled. This is indeed a day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice as we bless this house and all who gather in it. May our community grow and thrive here, especially our children and youth, emerging into the promised land of justice and opportunity for which today is a small but significant, as the mayor has said, down payment. Thank you, Councilwoman Church. I know you're looking down on us, and you really want to just uh, add a few words here and there. <laughs> We're trying our best to speak them for you, but we never could do so eloquently. Thank you for guiding us in your loving care to our role in dreams fulfilled here at your center. Thank you. Hi, um, my name is Mark Washington, and um, I'm a lifelong resident of Darley Park. As a matter of fact, I can see my house from here. Um, my family's been here 50 plus years, and um, every neighborhood that surrounds this park has been a part of my life. From when I attended elementary school at 99 at South Clifton Park, to being a young nuisance at Clifton Park Junior High School in Chum, <laughs> to being asked to leave Lake Clifton by Boyce Mosley <laughs> on amiable terms. Uh, this park uh, has been my life. And as such, this community has been uh, for Rita Church, her life and her calling. Um, I just want to say that each day we wake up and take our position on the front line of change. With little or no fanfare, we work tirelessly to make a difference, to make our communities a little better than they were the day before. We suffer no illusion. We know that for the most part, we will toil in obscurity, unseen and unrecognized. We seek no fame, no fortune, no cameras to pose for or pundits to please. We simply do the work, playing our role and doing our part to help our team achieve. That was Rita Church, who been given the shine that the spotlight simply served and then moved on, who would rise each morning with one mission in mind. How do I make things a little better? 
who understood that the measure of one's life is not what we take for ourselves, but what we give and leave to others. Rita Church watched over this park from the perch of her front porch. It was her oasis, a place where she could find tranquility. She reached out to make a difference for those who would never know her name, never know her sacrifice. With a hearty laugh and a big smile, Miss Church was fair but firm and showed that in the many lives she touched. Her name represents the meaning of this center. It is what the next generation will come to know and where they will come to congregate, fellowship, and grow. It is only fitting that this center bear her name. I am grateful to the church family for allowing her to be shared with us. I stand here today simply because she came before me. I follow in the footsteps of a woman who saw community as salvation. I only hope that I can live up to her standards. As we stand here in a post Trayvon Martin world, know this, for those of us who are most vulnerable, we will stand as your shield. That's who Rita Church was. That's what Rita Church did. Our lives are all better because of her service. Thank you. Great job. Good morning, Madam Mayor, <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Jack Young, Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark, Councilman Carl Stoke, who isn't here, residents, friends, my name is Frances O'Neill. I have lived in this area more than 50 years. This is a great day for our community. I want to thank all the leaders of South Clifton Park, Shum, North Avenue CD, and Dolly Park. I want to add Pastor Simon, Pastor Matthews, and Pastor Campbell for uniting to bring a recreation center to our community. I would like to thank the Bill Youth Leaders for walking the neighborhood <laughs> and seeking input for the design of this center and the programming. Lastly, we want to thank Councilman Woman Mary Pat Clark. For her tireless work on behalf of our community and also the work of Councilman Carl Stokes. This journey has not been an easy one. There have been many fits and starts, but the community remains steadfast. We deserve a place for our youth and its adults. This community is ready to offer their skills and to enjoy this facility. In the memory of the loss of life of our youth, especially Zane Johnson. We pray that the Rita Church Recreation Center will become a beacon and safe heaven for our youth. We pray that we will grow weary and well, doing and continue to demand the best for our children and our community. Today is a good day. We do look forward to your continued support. Thank you. Three, two, one.